New Year, new oopsies! I'm Poppy Gloria, and this is Food News. We have so many oopsies already, guys. I cannot believe it. Ninja did an oopsie. Ricegum did an oopsie. Jake Paul did an oopsie. And Soldier Boy did an oopsie. It's oopsie time. Now, if you guys haven't seen the ninja clip, then oh boy, are you in for a treat. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. So apparently Ninja was at the ball drop in New York City that they do every year, apparently. I never seen it because I don't live in America. But, uh, wait, I do actually. But Ninja took part of it this year and uh, I love me some good cringe. And this is just what I want. I feed off this stuff. Let's watch. If you guys have all flossed before. It's real simple. I mean, like with your teeth, I mean, you're just going in, out, in, out, in. I mean, it's just it. That's it. So we're going to try to get a million people right now to dance yeah. in Times Square. A million people in New York City are going to floss. Finally. Finally. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you yeah. guys ready? Are you guys ready to floss? Show us what you got. Okay. Show us what you got. Let's get some floss music on. We're getting ready. It's so wet. <laughs> it's so wet. It's so awesome. It. Should we count down? Are we going to get some tunes on? Absolutely ready. And three. three. Two, Two, one. one. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Floss, baby. We got no one. Come on, man. I want to oh, they're the flossing. Oh, my God. They're yeah, all I'm flossing. Gonna, I'm going to hit my wife for you. Come here. I'm going to come up. Kill it, Ninja. Oh, get it. Come get on, up baby. there. Show me what you got. Show me what you Just move. If you got no one, ah. so I want to see some movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. <laughs> no one is moving. <laughs> Oh, the pain. Can you imagine walking up there? You expect the million, the crowd of millions to be flossing in unison. Everyone just picked up this dance move out of nowhere. And then you just met. <laughs> oh, no. Couldn't they have picked anyone that knew how to do the dance? What is that? Wait, did he just say he's going to hit his wife for us? Replay that clip, please. I'm going to hit my wife for you. Why are not mainstream media talking about this? This just confirmed. Ninja, wife beater. Is this why he doesn't play with women? We reached out to Ninja for a response. What the fuck you say to me? Add that in, I don't know. Just move! If you got no one, just move. It's all I want to see some movement. Move! I'm not seeing any movement. Move! Oh my god. <laughs> now I know I'm not supposed to have my own opinion, but I cannot relate to this whatsoever. I have personally not have any experience of being on stage and not having that connection with the audience. No, nothing. Never happened. Uh, okay, Neva. <laughs> I'll have you know that that was lit, okay? Uh, no, as, as cringy as this clip was, I mean, what do you expect? You're not gonna get a couple bunch of New Yorkers in the middle of the rain do you know, Fortnite dances. Like, who thought that was a good idea? But this was uh, not all the controversy, if you want to call it that. It's really not, but Twitch was heavily pushing people to watch this on their website to watch this live stream watch ninja live uh they promoted it on the very top of all all their banners or whatever and they even had ads on other people's live streams oh it's like so it's like oh i click on this person but then an ad shows up of uh, hey you should watch ninja you don't want to watch this guy you want to watch ninja do the floss in front of the thousands of people and uh, a lot of people had a problem with this especially twitch streamers dr disrespect saying dear twitch get these ugly looking new year's eve ad rolls off my page don't ever do it again either ever i mean i'd probably be pretty annoyed of that as well as content creators ironically have no say in what ads show up on our videos if another youtuber paid ads or had ads to show up before my videos going hey subscribe to me I i'd be annoyed by it i get it guys i get the struggle most likely ninja had nothing to do with that anyway this is the problem when you are lending your brand for sponsorships or whatever this was you are going to get sh for a lot of stuff because you don't control it even though you personally wouldn't do it that way does that make sense it's a reason why I, me personally i i don't accept a lot of brand deals if i don't know exactly what's gonna happen with it and a lot of times it is beyond your control as well i think it's funny though because a lot of times you get these brand deals that sound cool okay you're gonna live stream on times square during new year's eve that's a huge opportunity. There's gonna be millions of viewers there, live or whatever. 
and you'll get paid a ton of money. Sounds great, right? And then reality hits, and it's like this. <laughs> just move. If you got no one, just move. It's all I want to see some movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. Next, oopsie. Soldier Boy's emulator console meets their inevitable end. No. <laughs> Not Soldier Boy's game console. We report about this on the last Pew News. Soldier Boy had his own video game console, which was basically just an overpriced version of another already available console that basically just emulates old Nintendo games. Wow, 3,000 Nintendo games. Sounds like a great idea. Soldier Boy is selling a console that's basically an overpriced emulator. Well, it turns out now, if you go to Soldier Boy's website, it's nowhere to be found. Where is it? Where's the Soldier game? I want to buy it. Well, it turns out the Soldier Boy game console is gone. <laughs> Soldier Boy's response to this was, I had to boss up. I didn't have a choice. You had to boss down. You boss the freaking down, Soldier Boy. Don't try to upplay yourself. I love the replies to this tweet, by the way. <laughs> what happened to his dream? Soldier Boy is just a he's just a guy with a dream. I had a dream last night that I got married to a midget. SM Edge. SM Edge. Stay focused on your dreams. Create something big. Make history. Thank you, Soldier Boy, for your inspiring messages. I don't understand why everyone's hating on Soldier Boy. He's been so humble throughout all of this. Nintendo ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> the games were licensed to us. Why y'all want to see a man fail so bad? SMH. Huh? Can I just marry a midget? SMH. For anyone that thinks Nintendo is going to sue me, you're it. Nothing's gonna happen. Everything is legit. My console isn't going anywhere. Trust me. Oh, I trust Soldier Boy. I always lend my trust to this man. To anyone that thinks Nintendo's after me, you're wrong. Media Takeout pulls that fake story. They haven't taken any legal action because they can't. That's right, they can't. That's why it's still available to buy on his website. Now everyone knows that you're a Soldier Boy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Who would have thought Nintendo though, would actually crack down on me? Soldier Boy who said that uh, his console sold 5 million units. I sincerely doubt it. And if even if you did, you're gonna have to pay all that money back, aren't you, Soldier Boy? Oopsie doopsie. And probably more. You'll probably get fined. Oh no, because you gloated so much about this. Oopsie doopsie. Ah, oopsie doopsie. Next, doopsie. Jake Paul and Ras Gam. What did they do now? Okay, all right, okay. Well, they promoted a brand called Mystery Brand, which is, it looks identical to one of those uh, CSGO gambling sites where you gamble for skins. I mean, look, look, look at the difference. I mean, they, they look practically identical. It's similar to any gambling sites, but instead of gambling for skins, you're gambling for actual brand products like shoes and phones and bags and cars. You can even win cars, how about that? It seemed like a bad idea to promote these kind of websites, especially considering after the CSGO Lotto scandal that happened a few years ago where T. Martin and uh, Syndicate was caught basically owning the website and cheating their way to victory, faking reactions, going, wow, I'm winning so much. So now we have Jake Paul promoting this. Spend 5,000 on mystery boxes and you won't believe what I got. An iPhone. An iPhone. <laughs> uh, and then Ricegum as well promoted this. Bruh, I just got the handbag. Yo, that's a $10,000 handbag. I'm about to sell it. Yo, $10,000, yo. I'm about to sell it back. So he won a $10,000 handbag. What are the odds? Something smells a bit fishy about this. They both won considerable amount of items just from unboxing just a few, at least what they showed. There's a couple things wrong with this, but I'll start with the most obvious one. Ricegum and Jake Paul have considerably young fans. And promoting a gambling website in general just seems like a bad idea for these people to do. Now, obviously, they don't care. And if they don't, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> I personally don't like this argument because I, I get it a lot myself. People go, oh, oh, you make a pr inappropriate jokes, but you have kids watching you. Well, it's not my responsibility who watches my channel. I think, though, there is a problem with Jake who basically admits that he knows kids are watching him. Who is your audience? Who do you make your videos for? Yeah, my audience is, uh, is definitely younger. 
um, I, I'd say it's like eight years old to like 16 years old. And so that's where I try to like cater the, the content. Cater the content by promoting gambling. Okay. It's not like it's a big exposure that these people aren't the most uh, morally ethical or whatever. Uh, but the second problem with this is that smaller YouTubers have already promoted these websites and they've been called out for it. This is how their promotion looks like. Oh, baby is red! Oh. oh! I gotta do the cut proper, you know? Oh, come on, what are we gonna do? Wait a minute! Shut the hell up. Shut, shut up, shut up. No! Is this a, is this a joke? This is supposed to be legit. What? Dude, that can't be real. That can't be real. It's not. It's not real. <laughs> Here's what it actually looks like when you unbox. Basically, 40 bucks is nothing over 50, 15 bucks. Now, obviously, this is not proof that there's foul play. There's nothing concrete. It's just saying, well, it seems like they're winning more than it actually is. Now, the th third issue with this is shipping. Uh, on all these sponsored videos, they kind of make it seem like uh, it just takes two days or a couple days to get your items. All right, guys, it's been two to three days. I don't even know. I think it's been around two days. And guess what? We got some stuff. A couple days passed, and when I opened up the mystery box, I was excited and stuff. But online, it says people are waiting over 65 days uh, and no progress on their items. People are saying that they're not even giving a proper tracking number for it. Given the benefit of the doubt, these mess ups can happen. Uh, obviously, shipping gets is a lot of times out of the control of the supplier. But considering how you advertise it, making it so easy to get the items, it's kind of false advertising. Now, the final juiciest bit, in my opinion, is is that on the website, it says that you can win some pretty crazy stuff. Just pay $4 and uh, you can win a Astronomia watch that's crazy expensive. A Lamborghini, a Bentley, a another Lamborghini, another Mercedes, a Range Rover, blah, 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 blah. All these super expensive items, obviously. So someone on uh, Twitter called Crypto Delta found out that here's the odds that they display that is the chance of you winning one of these items. Hey, look, there's the there's a handbag that uh, rice gum won. 0.16%. Wow. He must be a really lucky guy. And if you look at the most expensive items, a Lamborghini for 0.15%. That's sort of a reasonable percentage considering you're only paying $15, right? It doesn't really make any sense. It would still be that sort of a uh, high chance. I know it's high on quotation mark for you to win one of these in crazy expensive items. You can still have a decent chance of winning any of these. Well, basically this website has a feature called create your own box where you can basically make identical boxes as anyone else. So. Uh, this person decided to create the same box with the exact same items with the exact same odds and uh, The price that they calculate for this if you put in the same odds and the same items It should show up on the same price. I know it's a little confusing But it basically should show up that it costs $14.99 for this box because it's the exact same boss but as it turns out for this to be uh, profitable or for this to meet ends I guess you could say According, if you create your own, it costs $7,589,000 for this box. So basically, if you were gambling for the odds that they say they have, you should have to pay $7,000 per box. But in reality, you're paying $14.99, which means that these odds are bogus. They're not correct. Basically, proof that what they're displaying is not attainable in the way that they say it is so all of a sudden this idea that they are marketing through youtubers that it's easier to win something than it actually isn't doesn't seem like that crazy of an of a concept anymore uh suddenly that's not such a crazy of a thing i'm gonna put my tinfoil hat on for just a second here it seems like the people that are sponsored are genuinely surprised over winning these items. It seems like they're almost skeptical in their reaction if you watch. Wait a minute. 
minute. Shut the hell up. Shut. Shut up. Shut up. No. Is this a, is this a joke? This is supposed to be legit. I don't know for sure, like I have to wait till this comes in because this doesn't look the exact same, but this says Nike Air Off-White Vapor Max Black Gray. I like how he's doing a sponsorship with this company and he's still, he's not even sure if it's legit. He's like, I don't know if this is legit. <laughs> what? Dude, that can't be real. That can't be real. My theory is that they create an account and they give some better odds to that account. That's obviously just a theory. I have no idea if that's true or not. I, that's just what my guess would be. They give, uh, they say, hey, what's your account? Or we'll give you an account or something like that and give you improved odds while you do that. That's just my guess. I have no idea if it's true or not, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Let's just put it that way. Keemstar said himself that he was upper, offered a a hundred thousand to do a promotion for this website and i i can confirm i've been reached out by similar websites and they they pay an insane amount of money like there's crazy amount of money in these things so obviously they're very profitable it's just kind of messed up to see youtubers still promoting these things there's so many youtubers it's hard to know exactly the in, ins and out workings of every brand you work with but seeing big YouTubers promote uh, something like this that's clearly been known to be sketchy, it's uh, it's kind of messed up. Okay, so that was it for Pew News. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Smash like if you did. A great way to support the show is to buy some merch, everybody. Everyone that buys some merch have a 0.16% chance of winning a Lamborghini. So make sure you go on, take this offer right freaking now. That's it for me for now. I'm Gloria Poppy and doopsy doopsy bye. You want pyramids? We got them. Oh, you're into castles, huh? We got you covered, baby. You want some pets? Easy. We got it all. This game is still relevant, goddammit.